Hello my loves, this is Mystique and I welcome you to my digital sacred space. I hope you're happy, healthy and healing wherever you're watching from. Today I will be looking at what your future spouse finds captivating about you. This doesn't have to be restricted to a future spouse. This could also be a future soulmate, a special person, any romantic partner in the future. So yeah, that is what this reading is going to be about. It can also be about a twin flame if you're interested in. So we have three groups for today and I've selected three paintings based on my intuition. That's what spirit called me to choose. So for the first painting, this is the first group. If you choose pile number one, then this is going to be your painting. If you are drawn to this painting, then this will be group number two or pile number two. If you are drawn to this painting, then you are group number three. The timestamps are in the description. You guys can go ahead and click on your piles. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's pouring rain outside my window I'm not oh wow I have so much fun reading when it's raining outside it just creates such a relaxing atmosphere for me I really like lightning what do you guys how do you guys feel about rain and lightning So yeah, for those of you that want to skip this part, it's totally okay. Go, uh, go ahead and click on the timestamp so you can have access to your reading. I am going to start with the prayer and I am taking personal reading booking. So if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me on mystique tarot 28 at the rate of gmail.com. Um, I think the email address will be linked in the description so yeah you guys can go ahead and contact me from there and let's start with a prayer firstly I would like to thank the beautiful weather outside my window right now I hope that the camera I hope that the mic is picking up the rain sounds I feel like it's creates such a beautiful relaxing atmosphere Starting off with a deep inhale, slowly inhale, relax into your body and then exhale. Let your anxiety and worries leave you for a bit. like to begin this prayer by thanking Mother Nature and Mother Earth for always taking care of us, for providing us water, food, shelter.
If Mother Nature did not exist, we wouldn't exist. I call upon the spirit guides of my soul family, my group number one, two, and three that are viewing this reading today. I call upon you with divine love and gratitude. I ask you to be with me as we move through this reading and I ask you to please give me clear and concise messages that are accurate from group number one, two and three's soulmate, future spouse, special person or twin flame. I hold space for any negative emotions or any feelings that might be difficult to feel or might be very painful. I hold space. I also call upon the person that my group number one, two and three is longing for their future spouse, their soulmate. Please be with me. Please be with us as I move through the reading and give group number one, two and three any messages from you. I allow only beings, entities, energies and vibrations, thoughts, that are in the best interest of my soul family, my group number one, two, and three. I do not allow any negative entities or any entities, energies that do not have the best interest of my group number one, two, and three to have any access to this reading, any access to me, and to have no access to this sacred space. create a protection cloak around my soul family. They are protected from any harm from the spirit realm or physical realm. As I end this prayer, I would like to thank my dear loves who have been with me throughout this journey. Thank you, dear viewer, my soul family, group number one, two, and three. If you're here for the first time, welcome. I have so much love for you. This is a safe space. And I hope you enjoy your time here. I love you guys so much and I applaud you for going on this journey of spiritual growth and awakening. You are blessed, you are loved, you are supported. May this reading bring you clarity, bring you love and know that you will be loved.
This is my prayer to you, my dear soul family. Thank you for sharing your energy with me and giving me the honor to read for you. And I will end this prayer here and see you at your reading. Hello and welcome my dear loves. If you chose group number one, then this is going to be your reading. Um, please tap me into the energy of group number one and their future spouse, their soulmate, their twin flame, special person. Please tap me into the collective of group number one, please. I just heard lone wolf. I heard solitary. I feel like you're someone who's like a very independent soul. And this probably comes from some of you have gone through some kind of a childhood trauma where your dependency was used against you. I feel like maybe your trust was betrayed or something happened that made you feel and realize that it's very important for you to not be dependent on anybody, to be independent. So I feel like you guys might be my pile that are, you know, you guys are not afraid to walk your own path. You guys are not afraid to make your own path. You guys could be Aries. I'm picking up on some Aries energy, but you don't have to be. Um, yeah, I'm also seeing that, um, yeah, you guys come off as hyper-independent, someone who's not afraid to walk the path alone. I feel like you have chosen to be authentic to the point where it might be threatening to other people who are fake or who are, you know, who haven't healed as much as you. They might be threatened by your authenticity, but I feel like you still choose to show up as yourself. That's something that's really important to you. I feel a certain level of strength from you guys, pile number one. I feel like there is a lot of strength to group number one. I don't know who you guys are. And I don't know exactly what you have been through, but you guys have a lot of strength. I feel it emanating from you and I'm not even in your physical presence and, you know, I'm channeling far away from you. You might be across the world. I don't know where you're watching from or what country you're watching from, but there is so much strength in your soul. Your soul, your core, nobody can break it. Nobody can touch you. So I'm going to start off with the thread painting. That's what we are doing today. So I've already soaked the thread in paint and I'm just going to remove it and the thread is all tangled up. I don't know if you guys can see, but Just give me a moment. I feel like there is also a lot of silence coming through, but it's not the kind of silence that's like... disturbing or scary. It's almost... it's very comforting. come out for you oh my gosh whoa wow okay i feel like what your future spouse your soulmate finds most captivating about you is the fact that you are so comfortable in your skin there's something about you being so comfortable in your skin even if you do not think that you're confident i feel like you come off as confident because you are just like you refuse to be fake first of all you refuse to be anyone but yourself 
And that decision in and of itself lends a certain strength to how you show up in the world, to your character. And I feel like your future spouse is most captivated by the fact that you refuse to like not be yourself. You know, it's not an option for you. I feel like you are, you see how my voice even changed as I speak, like I'm speaking with more conviction. I feel like that's how your energy is. You're someone who, you're someone who will not bow down. I feel like you keep your head held high in all situations. If someone was to do something to you, try to do something to you, um, well, I feel, I, I, I feel bad for that person firstly. But if someone was to, you know, they were to try to put pressure on you to give up your free will or, you know, to make you feel powerless or to um, put pressure on you to make you feel like you have to do something. I feel like you're the kind of person who would find a third option. It's like if people find ways to create problems for you, you your brain will think of 100 solutions. And it's like you are super intelligent group number one. That's what your future spouse also likes about you. You're super intelligent. And intelligence is something that is not a stagnant thing. Okay, Intelligence is something that is evolving. What kind of person do we call intelligent? A person who is capable of adapting to the situation which means that intelligence itself is adaptable intelligence itself is um like moldable it's flexible it's something that can be transformed into something higher and i feel like you are like that like you are constantly just going to higher like higher realms of intelligence and accessing more information or more knowledge more wisdom if you are a woman i feel like you can access a lot of wisdom or you have a lot of wisdom your spirit guides are strongly with you and i feel like your future spouse is going to love this about you they like if you are a woman and you are in your feminine energy they like that you bring in so much information bring in so much love to your relationships but you're also someone who is strong in your character a lot of people think that oh being in your feminine energy means you're soft and like weak and that's not what being feminine means um being in your feminine energy doesn't mean that you allow somebody to disrespect you you know being in your feminine energy means knowing your worth to the point that you do not allow to be treated anything less than that you know you do not accept disrespect and strength is also, I feel like, feminine because there is a lot of uh, goddesses that are also strong. So I don't understand why strength or initiative is are seen as masculine qualities or seen as antithetical to each other because I don't think they are. And I feel like the more authentic a person is, the more a person chooses, especially as a woman, if you are, the more you choose to be yourself, the more people are going to be threatened by it because people are threatened by women and I feel like you standing up for yourself is really important. You you love yourself, you show up for yourself. I feel like you have your head held high. You almost have this very like dark goddess kind of energy. I don't know, like dark feminine, dark goddess kind of energy that has all the secrets. Like you guys could also be Scorpios or Mars rule, but you don't have to be. Um, like I'm seeing the card death, I'm being shown. Yeah, I'm being shown the tarot card death. So yeah, I feel like you're, you come off as very mysterious and some of you are also come off as really intimidating or really, really like people don't know what is going on with you. People don't know like what you're up to or what you're doing. And I feel like your future spouse loves to see that. Like when you when you are in the future, when you're with your future spouse and you go out on dates or like they're watching very carefully how people react to you, group number one, and react to your energy. And they can tell that your energy is electric because because you um it comes from your authenticity i think it comes from your strength it comes from your soul and i feel like your future spouse kind of has fun with that you know like i feel like your energy is so strong that you, your energy will automatically repel any man or any potential partner that doesn't have your best interests so your energy is so strong that it, it will automatically re repel anyone with negative intentions towards you but you but your future spouse is obviously someone who is coming 
like at you correct approaching you correct they do not have negative intentions and i feel like they are not so intimidated by you group number one yeah i don't feel like they're intimidated by you i feel like they see you as like their other half or they see you as their mirror like someone who's very similar to them energy wise of course i feel like there are differences but you guys are very similar energy wise and you guys and i feel like your future spouse could also be the same type of person where people are intimidated or people might not talk to your future spouse they might think that your future spouse is unapproachable or one of you might have like a resting b face or both of you have a resting b face like you guys come off as you guys are going to come off as a power couple in the future like saturn saturn energy capricorn energy power couple kind of energy like the the kind of couple like who's wearing like all black maybe and like when you guys walk into the room together everyone stops and stares because like they don't know who, like what's going on like did some celebrities just come here like what happened like you guys have celebrity energy i don't know if you guys are celebrities but you guys definitely have celebrity energy and with your future spouse i feel like it's multiplying twice right and individually of course you have that you know how some celebrity like when they walk into a room even, even if when they're wearing um ordinary clothes it's like people turn around to stare because they their energy is just so commanding right their energy is just so beautiful and people will turn around to stare and they'll be recognized immediately and i feel like you guys are definitely 11 11 as i say that you guys are definitely have you guys all have that energy so i feel like your future spouse looks at you as like their perfect match and that's what they find most captivating about you i mean it's like your future spouse is like what can i even say about group number 1 and what i find captivating about them because it's like everything their existence itself is captivating <laughs> like your future spouse is cute but i feel like you are the only person who will see that side so i am not being like they are not showing me I, i'm i'm i i don't have like full access to it they're not giving me full access to it and i'm going to respect that i'm not going to try to push it but that's what they said it's like they're waiting for you group number 1 and they want you to have um all of them like all of who they are they want you to say it they want you to love them I just heard please love me please love him I just heard that anyway I feel like they are not going to be afraid to be simping over you group number 1 like this is the kind of energy that's like if this is a man your future spouse is a man okay then this is a man who is not afraid to simp all over you like I feel like they might be the one that is telling their friends like yo I bought myself like I bought my girlfriend or my wife this and this is what we did today we went on a vacation and there's going to be a huge smile on their face and i feel you know how sometimes some boys can be like oh my god i disrespected her and like i did this to her and like like you know, those kind of conversation like locker room talk i feel like your future spouse is the opposite of that like complete 360 degree opposite of that your future spouse is like smiling respectful if your spouse has so much reverence for your energy group number 1 and your future spouse is also someone who is as strong as you emotionally and mentally group number 1 there's someone who is on your level in terms of strength group number 1 and i feel like maybe if you are a woman you were not able to find that in the past because it's not it's hard to to i don't know i don't even want to say it's hard to like find someone but it's like There is not a lot of men who are respectful of feminine energy and respectful of women. Sometimes you can get into power dynamics if you if you are someone who's powerful as a woman, then you can get into toxic power dynamics with men that are insecure and will try to bring you down and um I just don't see this soulmate this future spouse this twin flame doing that to you group number one and I feel like you're going to take the time to know them to understand them. you're going to take the time to see them for who they are it's like you are not i don't even see you giving your heart quickly i don't see you desperate for this connection it's like do you want to go on this date and it's like yeah sure <laughs> you know like you're super chill you're super mysterious i feel like you are not even giving away a lot of the information about yourself it's like they ask you like what what are you doing what do you like and nothing like 
I like sitting. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, you guys are super mysterious. You guys just... Like, I see you sitting in a restaurant on a date with your future spouse and you're so quiet and all you're doing is like staring at them or maybe eating a little bit like you know how angelina jolie in tourist yeah that's your vibe i feel like that's your vibe like that's how you come off that's how people see you i feel you know how she's got like that beautiful stare locked down that's how you are that's how that's how your energy is group number one but you're super feminine which is awesome I love that. Yeah, I think this was it. Oh my gosh. Do we do we want more cards? Let hold on. Let me get the oracle deck. I feel like I should pull cards for you. We'll pull we'll pull some more final messages and then I'm gonna Ooh, wow. We have cancer and air. Beautiful. Yeah. I feel like you might build a home. Yeah, you're definitely getting married to this person. You might build a home. I feel like this connection is going to take you off guard. Group number one. Like you are not expecting this connection to come in. That's when this future spouse, this person is going to come in. Of course, when they come in, you're not going to know that, you know, you're going to get married to this person. But yeah there is a, there is a lot of comfort there is a lot of love there is a lot of protection from your future spouse towards you i feel like they will be very protective of you and your energy and i also feel like there is a lot of open mindedness in the relationship there is a lot of space but in a good way not in a negative way i'm not saying that there's distance i'm saying that there is a lot of safe space in the relationship for you guys to be yourself or do whatever it is that you want to do um you guys are not giving up your individuality for each other you guys are you guys understand that you are complete by yourself when you are in the relationship like you're bringing that completion you're not looking for a half you know even though i said you know to them the other half i was metaphorically speaking but you guys are complete selves as you are yeah and you guys could start a family could i feel like your future spouse is going to want to have babies with you immediately they might not tell you but but i feel like you're going to know the intentions of your future spouse you're going to know your future spouse's intentions but and because i feel like they might communicate after a while but i feel like you, if you are the feminine who whoever is the feminine is going to take their time to know the masculine they're going to take the time to know the masculine because in the past they might not have had good experiences so they are going to take the time to know the masculine so this is what i'm seeing for you group number 1 i hope you enjoyed this reading and i hope that it brought you some joy um Yeah, I take the time to thank you, to thank the cards, to thank this beautiful painting, to thank this painting. Thank you so much for allowing me to channel for my group number one. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so by emailing me on the email address in the description below. And um, yeah, thank you so much for being part of my journey, and I'm sending you so so much love. I'll see you in my next reading. If not, I thank you so much for watching this one. Bye. Hello and welcome my dear loves if you choose group number 2 this is going to be your reading you chose this beautiful painting i'm feeling a certain brightness from your energy like there is a certain dance in your step a certain light hearted energy like you you are the kind of person that enjoys life to the point that you might you you're not scared of dancing on the streets or i feel like you're truly happy or joyful inside or you bring a lot of joy to other people yeah also sensing a lot of some of you are here for the first time not a lot actually maybe a small portion of you here for the first time on this channel hello and welcome this is misty and i do something called watercolor readings i'm going to do one today i have like 4 5 6 techniques i'm not sure but yeah i'm doing something called a thread painting today Um, for those of you that have been on my channel, you guys already know how these readings go. But I'm gonna start with. So I've already dipped the thread in paint, and I'm gonna start with placing this on the paper, and then we will see what patterns.
okay and then i'm going to read based off of these patterns that are formed please tap me into the energy of group number two please spirit guys of group number two soulmate future spouse special person twin flame please tap me in to your energy Mm. Beautiful. Your future spouse finds you very captivating because because you bring a lot of joy in group number two. There is a certain like super cute energy to you. Like I want to give you guys a hug. Like you have like a fur ball, always happy kind of energy. I feel like you are the kind of person that makes people's days brighter just by existing just by being there that's so sweet and beautiful group number two and you know i'm looking for words to describe it but your soulmate your future spouse your spirit guides keep taking me into like how they feel how your energy feels to them you feel like a light in their life you feel like your energy feels like like a bubble of joy like if i was to hold a bubble of joy that that's you group number two i feel like you have not let life or society dim you group number two i feel like you shine bright you i just heard shine bright like a diamond yeah i feel like that song probably describes you accurately that's how your future spouse feels about you as well like they love that you are yourself that you are you that's what is the most captivating to them about you are you and there is no group number two in the whole entire world in the whole entire universe and that's that's what they find captivating that's what they absolutely love is that you are you and no one else i also feel like they when they meet you they cannot wait to go through the life's different processes with you like they cannot wait to go through life with you like go through the ups go through the downs i feel like you your presence is so enriching and nurturing that that itself is enough for your future spouse i feel like if you just exist as yourself that's it that's enough for your future spouse they don't even want anything else from you I feel like if you were to ask for anything you just have to smile. <laughs> like if you wanted to eat something like just give them just give your future spouse a smile and they will get you that. That's it. What else do you find captivating about I also feel like they like your physical appearance. Yeah, they like your physical appearance not necessarily in a S way. Okay, I feel like I don't sense a lot of S energy right now or in the beginning of the relationship. I feel like your future spouse is not interested in such kind of things in the beginning. I feel like they really want to get to know you as a person. They want to make sure that you feel safe, that you feel comfortable and I feel like they um will respect your boundaries and yeah but they really really like your body 
and i feel like they like your body shape they like how tall you are if you are feminine or if you are in a feminine energy or if you are a woman i feel like you might be shorter than your future spouse if he, if they are a man and they like that height difference they like that they can like i feel i see them like tapping your head like like that like you know how you would like a little child i feel like they do they do that or they might do that in the future they just like that you are so petite or small even if you're not petite it doesn't matter like it doesn't matter what your body shape is and all that but they like your physical appearance i feel like they're attracted to your shape I'm just tapping into the energy. So pardon the silence. If you guys have a child, no, when you guys have a child, when you guys get married, when you guys have a child, I feel like you guys are going to be one big happy family even if you have difficulties. And I feel like you both are going to be very close to your child. Spirit is showing me a child here in the painting. and you guys don't have to see the same thing as me that's totally okay you guys can you know maybe something looks different to you and that's okay take that message maybe it is there for you and there for your eyes but i see spirit is showing me specifically a child and i feel like this child is going to be super clingy or super like super close to you group number 2 and your future spouse of course like this child is won't feel abandoned by you guys this child that you have in the future I feel like your future spouse is going to look at you after you guys have children and be like oh my god we made this child i made this child with group number 2 <laughs> that's what i'm hearing i'm sorry but that's what i heard um yeah it's like they are so proud that you guys made a child together <laughs> I've never gotten a message like that before. I've never received a message like that before. It's like they see the child as like an extension almost. Like we created this together. We created this home together. We created this child together. Like but in a loving way, not in a negative way. I also feel like your future spouse is going to try to provide for you in every way whether it's financially, emotionally, physically. I feel like they might pay for your bills or they might pay like for your meals, like they're going to come in and be like, "Yo, I can take care of you." Like that's the kind of energy I'm feeling. And I feel like they find you so captivating that they don't want to lose you and they know from the beginning that they have to treat group number 2 correctly otherwise group number 2 will leave and yeah i feel like they are going to try to be like, they are going to make sure that they treat you right they are going to make sure that you feel that they respect you they love you they worship the ground that you walk on Yeah, it's almost like there is a lot of silence in this reading. I feel I'm not really sure. That's what I'm feeling. But it's almost like your your future spouse is so tongue-tied, so speechless that I'm not even getting words to speak about what it is that they find about you to tell you words in human language. It's like they love your presence. Like if they could have an energy bath and they could choose like select energy they would select your energy and bathe in that they like being around you they like spending time with you i feel like they come home after like a long day or work they love 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 being with you and love spending time with you this is so beautiful i'm not getting any other messages is there anything else yes there is okay 
Should I pull cards? Okay. Okay, spirits asked me to pull some cards, so I'm getting an oracle deck for you guys. This is the one, Moonology. We have full moon in Taurus, yes, not surprising. And we have Aries, step into your power. Love it. Yeah, you guys could be a Taurus Aries couple. I do sense a power couple vibe from you, but I don't feel like you guys are trying. Maybe a small handful of you, a very small portion of you might have been drawn to group number one. And they, they are drawn to group number two as well. So both of the piles. But that's a very small portion of you. I don't feel like a lot of you were... I feel like there's separate energies for sure. Like individual energies. But some of you might have been drawn to that as well. Because some of you have both of the energies. This pile and that pile. With the full moon in Taurus, detoxify. And first quarter moon in Aries, step into your power. I feel like your spirit guides are asking you, group number two, to start something physical, like a dancing or a yoga or get physical with your body. Like maybe even if you want to do jumping jacks at home or if you want to go running, if you um, want to go, go take a walk, dance in your house, put on some music. It doesn't have to be routine based. It's like just keep your body in motion. Keep your body in motion. That's what I'm hearing. Like something about your body and I feel like you will be able to fully harness the power. That's what your spirit guides are saying. You'll be able to fully harness the power that is in your body, that's in your soul, in your heart if you are physically active so stay physically active as possible if you don't like working out you can try dancing join a dancing class or you know even at home um or those dance workout routines that you guys see on youtube you can try those or maybe some yoga practices um but yeah like don't sit still for too long or don't um Don't have a life where you're not physically active. Like, do something with your body. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. I feel like this was it. There was something that your spirit guides wanted to say. And I feel like I've said that. Is there anything else for group number two that needs to be communicated to group number two, please? Oh, your future spouse was like, please tell them I love them. <laughs> like, please tell her I love her. That's what they just said. So, that was the final message I feel. I think that this is it for your reading. And, um, yeah, this is it. So, if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so by emailing me in the description. The email address is in the description. And I would like to take the time to thank these beautiful cards this beautiful painting you and your future spouse slash soulmate for and your spirit guides for allowing me to channel today and give me giving me the honor to read for you um, if you guys have any reading suggestions please leave it in the comments and i will see you in my next reading if not i thank you so so much for watching this one have a great day bye Hello and welcome my dear loves of futures group number three. This is going to be your reading. This is the painting that you chose. When I picked this up, I felt a, I felt a certain calm and serene energy. You guys could be my water pile mixed with some air, but you don't have to be. But I felt so calm and so serene. I felt like it felt like I was sitting in nature. That's how it feels. That's how your energy feels, group number three. So I'm going to start with a thread painting and then I will start channeling messages. Please tap me into group number three. 
Dear spirit guides of group number three, please tap me into the energy of group number three. There, it's focusing now. Please tap me into the energy of group number three, soulmate, future spouse, twin flame. What do they find most captivating about my group number three, please? Group number three, I feel like your energy is almost like a flower. That's what your spirit guides are showing me, is like a flower. I'm being taken into a union and I see two people hugging each other. It's like the one person has their head like this and the other person is like this. So it's like they're totally wrapped and they are holding each other. And there is a smile on their face and a halo, like a whitish glow around them. That's what they just showed me. And I feel like this is you guys in the spirit realm. Like I'm being taken inside the energy of you and your future spouse. That's what I'm feeling. There is so yeah serenity is probably the word serenity calmness i feel like if you guys have been through a lot this relationship has the opposite energy it's super calm super there is no chaos here there's no drama here like just love pure love you know it's giving me a very utopic feeling group number three i don't know who you are but like if, if the human world, if you take earth and every single person is loving and let's say in a hypothetical utopia, right? Every single person is loving and nobody really wants to harm anybody. And if, if somebody is even having a negative emotion, that person is re receiving help. And we all live in, you know, in live in harmony and community and in a super bonded relationship with each other, super deep relationship with, ship with each other. Oh my God, I'm fumbling on my words that is your energy group number three i feel like you are not like it feels like your energy is so alien like i don't feel like you could be a star seed like i don't there is a certain element to you that's almost like not human it's ethereal it's godlike it's like goddess level you know it's like it's like a super high dimensional energy frequency you guys group number three And you might be bringing in, you might have been, you guys could have taken a birth on this planet and in the 3D because you wanted to bring in those higher frequencies, those higher energies into the 3D and ground them into the 3D. I don't know how you're doing this or what you're doing, but you're doing it already. I feel like your spirit guides are like, yep. And it's almost like you are on the level of your spirit guides, group number three. Like, you know how sometimes we think, oh, like spirit guides are higher because they're in a higher dimension. But they're just people 
in a higher dimension like they're not better than us they just have they can give us a more like zoomed out view of things that we might not know as like our human perception is limited but that's it they can be wrong they also you know they they do not have an objective perspective because they also cannot see everything they cannot see the dimensions that are above them right like let's say your spirit guides are in the 5d they won't be able to access the dimensions higher than them unless they raise their frequency and i feel like you guys are the kind of people that might be astral traveling or you guys can jump from like take quantum leaps from 1 2 3 4 like that oh my god like you guys are highly 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 i don't even want to say spiritual but like you guys are evolved evolved as hell like you're free you're free from the matrix and i feel like it's not even a big deal for you to bring in like a soulmate or future spouse or something like that like manifesting them it's not even a big deal for you it's like spirit guides are like it's not even a big deal for you so let's talk about group number 3 <laughs> but um, that's not what this reading is about this reading is about what your future spouse finds captivating about you but yeah your spirit guides did bring did want to bring in some attention to you guys group number 3 I'm also seeing that I feel like your future spouse or soulmate or whoever you're attracting group number 3 is someone who is beyond the physical beyond the 3D as well just like you so they do not see you as like they do not see you with the entrapments of the 3D almost like it's almost like I know who group number 3 is. Like you guys might even know each other when you guys meet. I'm so sorry. I don't know what is happening with the camera and the tripod today. Like it just keeps shaking. Um I'm seeing that you guys silent <laughs> it's like the words lost me your future spouse is beyond this realm too and you guys will know each other when you meet i don't know how this is happening but you guys i feel like this is not within my complete like this is not within my understanding like this energy i'll be very honest so please um understand that like this is something that's probably beyond my understanding right now your union is of the heavens from the heavens what do they find captivating about you your existence your future spouse just said you are me i am you what i like about me is what i like about you what i love about you is what i love about me because there is no difference between you and me like spirit is taking me into oneness the oneness of the entire existence what you would call source or source energy or god or universe whatever you would like to call it the oneness of everything the unity and your future spouse i feel like maybe this is your future spouse's higher self and your future spouse but their higher self is like you are me and i am you this reminds me of that rumi poem i think he said lovers don't find each other they find that they were in each other all along and i feel like that sums it up that sums up your reading i don't even have to get into anything because i don't i i don't feel like i'm being shown anything or being told anything because this is something that's beyond words 
words cannot touch you human language cannot touch you you are beyond the framework of human language but i do feel like your future spouse and soulmate is going to be someone who's very protective of you and your energy i feel like they know how precious you are you are so 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 precious to them group number 3 i cannot emphasize this enough they want to protect your energy they want you and they know because it's difficult it's difficult to be this all compassionate all loving person all the time in a world where there is a lot of narcissism right people exist in a very parasitic state but you don't and they want to protect that they want to they want you to be in the state of love as much as possible they want you to be in the state of happiness as much as possible by yourself even without them and i feel like they are going to make sure that you that they are able to give you that So let me pull cards for you and then I will end the reading. I'm being taken to the tarot deck called the Ethereal Vision, so I'm just going to take two cards. That's it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my god. Look at the colors. can't believe it they're exactly the same yeah they see you as this queen and they are ready to be your slave <laughs> they see you as this queen and i feel like even though you are so feminine or you are so like in this energy this ethereal energy i feel like you do know how to protect yourself against earthlings that might try to hurt you and you also know that they cannot touch you you know that the earthlings cannot touch you group number 3 your energy and frequency is too powerful it's too powerful group number 3 and i feel like people that try to do something to you their energy went back to them like a boomerang almost you know it's like they tried to put it on you but the energy just bounced back to them and whatever curse or whatever negativity they were throwing towards you just ricochet back to them and so they walked away quietly because they understood that You are very protected by the spirit realm as well, group number three. And I feel like what your future spouse or soulmate finds most captivating about you are your nurturing qualities. Is this cup of love that you have the, that you have so much of to give to other people? no matter how mean the world becomes you will never be one of those people but you're strong group number 3 i do not sense weakness in you it takes a lot of strength to be loving and compassionate and i feel like you embody that you are the embodiment of compassion like you are the goddess of compassion if i had to put it like the goddess of empathy group number 3 i don't know who you are but i love 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 your energy absolutely love your energy i feel like this was it is there anything else is there anything else Yeah, your future spouse also loves your hair. Your future spouse loves your hair. Or will love your hair. So this is it my group number 2, a uh, group number 3. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading and I will see you in my next reading. Bye.